recording. Cool. Okay, so I had recorded roughly, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes of video before Safi proceeded to... Thank you. I don't want you over here. Uh, she's that's, that's her off-camera. Yeah, that being bad. Uh, she both went to the bathroom and threw up on camera. I was very displeased. Um, so I had to toss that video. But, basically, Moss was in a brick. Scoop. Quite similar to this. It is now not in a brick. I'm going to kick you out for the night. Actually, you are causing a lot of trouble. I know. I'm so mean. I'm going to put you out of my room, and then when I'm done, I'll put you back in. It wasn't a brick like that. It is now no longer in a brick. And there's obviously still some pieces that need to be torn apart. Sorry. I know. I'm just bothering you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A lot of hairs over here being cute. I, uh, I put the water bowl in as close to the UTH as possible. Uh, then I put the substrate in. Unfortunately, that means that I do drop substrate into the water bowl. Which also means I need to clean it out. Sigh. I see you escaping. How about you not? Why don't, why don't you sit where everyone can see you? Right here. Okay. And then I put the substrate in. Uh, this is the warm side, so I try to put the water bowl on the warm side, close to the UTH as possible. Uh, and then I thin out the substrate on the warm side and pile it all over near the cool side. And that way he can burrow if he wants, which he's been enjoying being allowed to do, by the way. Um, or... He can sit on the top in the cool hides, which he's also been doing. He's sort of been bouncing back and forth between the two options. I like giving him the option. So, here's that. Okay. He is currently burrowing, actually, so there we go proof that the snake likes to burrow. One hide goes in here. He likes this hide a lot. It's his favorite. Hey buddy, 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 buddy. If you want to hide, why don't you hide over here? Ooh, look at that. What is that? That's a hide. That's for you. You can curl up in there. He's very rainbowy right now. I don't know if you can see that. He's also showing me his white walls, which is very nice of him. I also put a hide in the coolest corner, so the corner furthest away from his UTH. So he has one extreme on each end. I tend to like giving climby animals climby things. Nice climby thing over here. I have to set it up in a way that it's not going to fall on his head if he falls. There we go. Another hide over here. And then I start to give him a lot of ground cover. The ground cover is for sort of the both of us. I like to look at it. He likes to sit in it. Uh, he's been enjoying the ability to sit in a pile of leaves if he wants and not be bothered and feel safe and content, considering he is a Brazilian rainbow boa and sort of a rainforesty type creature. I'm not surprised.
I also try to space everything out in a way that doesn't crowd, but it does provide some reasonable measure of cover so he can move from hide to hide without feeling like he's trapped anywhere. Which I think he might appreciate. I don't know. He's a snake. He appreciates just the fact that animals fall from the sky and he's allowed to eat them, to be honest. Uh, and then the thermometers. That means I have to move you, little one. <laughs> He's so upset. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Okay. He's so pretty at night. He's probably his brightest. Right about now. Right when I get home from work. I don't actually know why it might be a boa thing. It might be a nocturnal animal thing, because I know they're nocturnal. I just know that he is his absolute brightest right about when I get home from work, which is, yeah, 16 minutes ago. <laughs> no, more than that. I've been home since 9.30. It's 10.16, so... Oh, also, the person who asked me previously about this guy, there's a little button right about here that you press, and there's an audible beep, and now it says uh, Celsius. Press it again, and it says Fahrenheit. That's all I do. Seems to work well enough for me. And there you have it. That is his new enclosure. That's how I set one up. It's actually pretty easy. Um, this guy is a little big for him, which is why I put so much stuff in there. A larger snake wouldn't need as much stuff. But he is still a baby. Ah, uh, you're kind of gripping my pinky there, dude. Can I have my finger back? He says no. But there you have it. How Jazzy sets up enclosures. It actually got easier and easier the more of these I set up. Um, as I owned more snakes, I found sort of a rhythm that works the best for me. You gonna blow bubbles in your water? Yeah, you're gonna blow bubbles in your water? Why don't you sit on the climbing thing? And now he can explore his new enclosure. And everything is right in the world. <laughs>